They have a roughness to them, you know, a survival thing. So I tried to, I tried uh, to make them lovable, but also rugged. Look like they could handle themselves. Uh, Megan knows this one. This is Franco. Tell me about Franco, quickly. Um, Franco, <laughs> he's, he's five years old. Um, he has an older sister named Helen, and he really likes playing soccer. So there. This gentleman. Actually, I don't know his name, uh, but he lives in a pretty remote village. Um, and they actually have a pretty good number of elderly people there, which is pretty uncommon. Um, he came around one day for our medical day. Okay. Uh, this background is about, in some places, four layers, some places, three. And it was all painted with this brush. Oh my God. As wow. was this. And the hair. And how much are you auctioning that brush? <laughs> <laughs> how, how long do they take? You know, are they a month? Or no, we're talking weeks. Weeks. Week. A week. As in, <laughs> I can't sit and do this um, in long periods of time because I'm painting like this. Right. I've seen them that I really, they look like the kind of kids that just tipped over in the outhouse. <laughs> but I know better. Or a cow. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me. Uh, the one in the blue, that's John Peter. And then I couldn't tell who's hiding the space, um, but they're all between 9 and 11 or 12 years old. They live up um, in northern Uganda. Yeah. All the leaves, little brush, and all this, little brush. Now, I have some Windsor Newton Series 7 sable brushes at home that they say are the best. But this here $3 brush worked pretty good. Same way on this tree. I, I especially like this one. 